Africa for me is a very attractive continent. I don't have many chance to know about African architecture. There are not so many competition about Africa. So I think CPDI competition is a very good chance for me to understand more about African architecture. Not only about architecture, but also about country and people. By study about African architecture, I can I believe that I can learn something to bring to my country, Vietnam, because uh, Vietnam has a lot of common characteristic with African countries, such as tropical climate and local material, local building techniques. Uh, that's the reason why I want to enter CPDI competition. When doing the research about African vernacular architecture, I've been through a lot of surprise. Different country has their different way to do architecture. So I can hardly say that I find inspiration from any specific country. But I find urban architecture is the most inspiring. With me, this material is amazing. Ram earth, mud brick, they are very cheap, local available, sustainable, simple to construct, and very appropriate with the local climate. Urban architecture can be seen in many countries, like Mali, Malawi, Zambia, and each country has their unique way to do, to construct this material. I see a lot of interesting things when study about African architecture. When I observe a co the construction process of a house in rural area, I can see everyone becomes builders. The man was doing the bamboo frame of the house, the woman was doing the plastering, and the children was drawing and decorating the house. I can, from that image, I see that architecture is not something big. It's the work that we can share. It's something that we can do together. When every member participated in the construction, I, I see that it's similar to a family dinner. It's a very inspiring image. I think the most difficult aspect when doing the design is the climate of Africa is very harsh and very sophisticated. So to create just one prototype but widely adapt with different weather on Africa is a challenging job. Um, in one country, the climate can become very hot to very cold, very wet to very dry, depends on regions and time. Moreover, the modern, the modern living standard is much higher than before, so the house need to provide a certain level of comfort throughout the year. So with me, to deal with African climate is a very challenging aspect. By my knowledge, I'm confident that the achievement we gain through this competition are creative products, not theoretical but very practical. So I think this competition is the bridge between traditional African architecture in modern architecture. It will significantly contribute for the development of African architecture. In the future, Africa will be in the flow of contemporary architecture, but still maintain the identity of the continent. My name is Eduardo Soto and I am the designer of the IFA House. I would like to thank the Community Planning and Design Initiative Africa for giving us the opportunity to showcase our work and also for taking the time and the effort to prepare this wonderful competition. Thank you. I have two very important reasons to participate in this competition. First, I was very excited with the idea of learning about African culture and with challenging myself to develop an architectural design 
specifically conceived for the requirements of the African continent. I personally believe that when you expose yourself to difficult design problems or to design problems that are unfamiliar to you, you grow as a designer. My second reason for participating in this competition was that by doing research in preparation for my project, I could be learning something about my own history. Now let me explain a little bit more about that. I live and work in the US, but originally I am a Puerto Rican. Puerto Rico is a small island in the middle of the Caribbean with a long history of racial diversity. Much like the people of Cuba and the Dominican Republic, Puerto Ricans are the result of the mixture of uh, Taino Indians, Spaniards and Africans. We are very proud of our African ancestry and even today you can, you can see its influences in our cuisine, in our language and especially in our music. So by participating in this competition, I was connecting my passion for design with my own history. According to historians, the largest groups of Africans that came to the Caribbean were the Yorubas, Igbos and uh, Bantus from the countries of Nigeria, Benin and Guinea. So from those three groups, the ones that made the most uh, impact in our Puerto Rican culture were the Yorubas, and for that reason I selected them to be the ethnic group to inspire my design. So in addition, I also used Nigeria's climatic conditions and natural resources as a starting point for my design and to select which materials will be locally available for a sustainable building. The most important thing that I learned when doing research for this competition was the importance of the central space in Yoruba architecture. This is very easy to understand when you study the two most common dwellings used by the Yoruba people, the Orowa house and the Impluvium house. In the Orowa house, all the rooms are linked to each other through a central hall that serves as the main connector of the structure. In the Impluvium house, all the rooms are built around a courtyard that is used to collect rainwater. So at the core of these two types of dwellings is the idea that a central space serves for the social and the practical needs of the residents. And so the most challenging aspect of the design was trying to maintain the essence of that open space and make it the organizing element of the composition of the IFA house. In closing, I would like to say that I feel extremely proud of having participated in the first competition held by the Community Planning and Design Initiative Africa. I believe that this kind of efforts is what will inspire a new generation of architects and designers to embrace their culture and to use it to contribute in a meaningful way to the conversation about contemporary architecture. Thank you. CPDI parce que j'ai trouvé des intérêts par l'architecture traditionnelle africaine, notamment les tatas sont des qui ont été euh, la source d'inspiration. Qui a inspiré, qui construisent généralement des cases différentes qu'on appelle tatas Ils sont de la région du nord de l'Union et ils utilisent la terre, la pierre, euh, le bois et aussi la banque dans, dans la concession. Projet pour le concours de CPDI. J'ai eu principalement du travail étudié euh, l'architecture, notamment en y effectuant.
opinion ou de voyage. J'ai pu discuter avec les constructeurs de cette case-là. Il m'est revenu que euh, cette architecture mettait en valeur d'une part les femmes séculaires et aussi d'autre part euh, les, les, les matériaux locaux, les techniques locales de construction. Il nous est revenu par exemple que les formes séculaires utilisées permettaient de réduire l'ensemblement des parois externes et améliorer donc le confort. Grâce au concours organisé par la Fondation CPDI, D'ailleurs, faites des recherches sur l'architecture traditionnelle et ça nous a permis de comprendre mieux en quoi l'architecture la, est traditionnelle africaine constitue une richesse inépuisable ah, oui. pour nous. Ah, oui. J'ai travaillé beaucoup de recherches et beaucoup d'études. On peut améliorer, mettre en valeur l'image de l'architecture traditionnelle à Afrique. Thank you.